Hello, hello, this is Elizabeth Griffin, your indie author from South Philadelphia. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please take a moment and do so and definitely continue to share my content with others. So as you know, I'm excited about Kindle Vela. I have been on the platform for over a month and I am loving it. I'm also looking towards the future. So because this is episodic fiction and it can go on for several seasons, I'm thinking about uh, talking to you about future projects or future stories storylines. So this is the month of March. It's the beginning of the year still, but time is moving really fast. And for those of you who are going to have stories that are going to continue into the fall and into the holiday season, I'm thinking now would be a good time to start strategizing and thinking about Christmas themes and Christmas storylines because some people, when it becomes, uh, after Thanksgiving, some people stop reading uh, regular uh, romance or regular books and start concentrating on seasonal reading or seasonal romances or holiday romances. So this will be a prime time for you to incorporate that storyline into your writing so that you can gain those readers and they will have already been introduced to your characters. They will already be in love with your world. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then in addition to that, they will be able to enjoy the holiday season with their favorite characters and you can just be creative and you can just uh, go, go all in and um, take advantage of Thanksgiving, take advantage of Christmas, the New Year's, Kwanzaa, all of those events. So that's one thing I wanted to leave you with. The other thing that I have been thinking a lot about is when I write my characters, they are entering scenes and they're leaving scenes. And it is important as a writer to know and to understand that when your character enters a room, they are coming from someplace else. They have already experienced part of their day or they have already gone through certain uh, activities before they come into the scene. So when they come into the scene that you're writing, they have to bring all that information with them. Your characters just don't randomly show up and walk through rooms and have dialogue. They are coming from someplace. They are going to someplace. They have motives. They have motivation. They have things that are driving them throughout the story. So keep that in mind when you write your characters. Anytime they make an appearance, each anytime they're doing doing something, there is a motivation behind it. And I thought about that when uh, I was writing a scene for uh, His Dangerous Obsession. Uh, one of the characters enters the room and then I'm thinking, well, where is he coming from? Is he coming from another part of the house? Is he coming from work? Where is he coming from? And what frame of mind is he in? So these are things, as I said, that you should keep in mind as a writer. Your characters do not randomly show up. They do not have random dialogue. Everything has a purpose and a meaning. So I hope this has been helpful. Enjoy your weekend. As you know, I will be writing. I have lots and lots of ideas and I want to stay on schedule. And I find working a full-time job during the week and trying to incorporate writing is very taxing. So I'm using the weekend to catch up on episodes and to make sure that I can upload um, uh, continually so that there is not a long lag because I don't my, want my readers to lose interest. Uh, I want them to stay engaged in the storyline. I want them to share with others. And so for me, the weekend is a way to catch up and to keep um, abreast of everything. So as always, enjoy your weekend. Love, peace, joy, and happiness. Until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>